Hello. This video will be about bok choy, how it makes seeds, and I'll be talking about a couple of other things at the end. So thank you for watching for the next few minutes. I hope that you're doing well and feeling relaxed. So this beautiful bok choy plant, I had been enjoying the delicious leaves in salads and soups and then I wanted to let the rest of it grow. And they grew into these tall stalks where at the tips, I saw these gorgeous marigold yellow flowers. Over time, the flowers turned in to seed pods and the seed pods developed seeds inside. And after a couple of weeks, they dried and I cut the stalks off. I brought them inside to the table and I started snipping off each of the little pods with scissors. I've been doing this with lots of different types of plants, kale, lettuce, onions, collard greens, and today the bok choy. I have a collection of these jars full of seed pods from all different types of plants, which makes me feel so good to know that I can grow a whole garden of food when I'm ready, when I have the proper setup. And in each one of the pods, I would say there are about 15 to 20 little baby bok choy plants. So that's quite a lot of plants. And then when those plants grow, more seeds will come from them as well. And the cycle will continue on and on. I hope that you enjoyed watching this process and noticing how truly easy it is when we allow the plants to grow to their full cycle and then do the harvesting so that we can grow the plants again. I want to share with you also this beautiful tea that I made with rose petal, red raspberry leaf, and oat straw. So calming for the nervous system. And then I also want to share that I need a new place to live. I've been here in this rental for about five months and I would like to embark on a new adventure somewhere else in the world could be anywhere. I would just really love it to be warm all year round, maybe somewhere tropical where I can smell the beautiful fragrances of the flowers in the air, feel nourished by the sun, therapy to help my body heal, to help myself continue to grow so that I can grow the food, grow my garden, grow my meditation practice, continue healing my body and my nervous system, grow more bok choy. I could live alone. I could live together with someone who has similar lifestyle views or on someone's property if there's a guest house. This home, one bedroom and one bathroom that Edgar and I have been in is over $2,000 a month and we can hear the traffic and the sirens and it's all day and night and I'm just really not getting the needs met for my health and my healing that I need to do, that I desperately need, that I'm devoted to taking care of my body and growing food and being at peace and offering beauty and love in the creative ways that I'm embarking on. I would love some assistance in finding my next place to live. Thank you so much for watching this video. It's a little vulnerable putting so much information and asking for such help on a video on YouTube, but I need to, I need to find the people and 
I appreciate you watching and if anyone has any ideas, feel free to contact me. I'll leave some information in the details below. Take care.